Hey guys and welcome to another Digital Classroom special episode, Tips Made Possible by BenQ and Rogue. Hey guys, we all know of course layers. Now layers in Photoshop are absolutely awesome. This for example is your background layer and you can create a duplicate layer by this by just dragging it here. You can then show the layer or not show the layer. You can make the layer disappear again. And if you want I can do a tutorial that very simply explains layers. Just leave comments below. But today I want to talk to you guys about my favorite layer of all time. I sometimes even refer to it as the magic layer, the layer that does it all. So, do you want to know what layer I mean? So let's go. In your layer menu, you can actually add a new layer. Now, you can of course press OK and now you have an empty layer, but that's not what we want to do. Go to mode and go to soft light. That's your blending mode, so how it blends together with the layers below. Now you have an extra option called fill with soft light and neutral gray. Well, let's do that. Press OK. It now seems we have a layer that does absolutely nothing, because if I turn it on and off, nothing changes. And that's the cool thing. Because this layer we can now manipulate. I'm going to show you several options you can do with this layer. The first one is use it as a sort of dodge and burn layer. Now the thing with dodge and burn is that it sometimes destroys your colors or it blows out certain areas you don't want. And in all honesty you don't have a lot of control. So let's say on this image I want to enhance the legs a little bit and here in the clothing. How can we do that with this new magic layer? Very simple, you go to your brush, make sure you take a brush that's soft and put the hardness all the way down, so you don't want any hardness on your brush. And now what we actually do is we select, for example, white. Okay, so now let's say I want to enhance this a little bit. And as you can see on this layer, when I paint, everything I touch with white actually gets a little bit brighter. And it's really, really subtle. And you're now literally painting with light. And sometimes this layer is also referred to as a painting with light layer. Now it seems like I didn't do a lot unless you do this. Now you can see that we really changed the look of the shot. And this always gives a little bit of extra pop to your image. And because if you can do it with white, you can also do it with black. Press the X on your keyboard or just switch like this. And now you can do the same thing with blacks. So let's say I want this a little bit darker. And you see the control you have if you have that opacity of your brush a little bit lower? It really gives you a lot of latitude in what you do. There we go. I highly recommend using a tablet with this kind of stuff. If you do it with a mouse or touchpad, it will actually drive you nuts. So I'm using a Wacom Cintiq at the moment. And those are really nice because you can literally draw on the screen. And I have the touch version in front of me so I can also zoom in with my fingers. And it's really nice to have in this case. There we go. Okay, you, you got the idea, right? I don't want to make these videos too long. So let's just go to fit on screen and show you the result. There we go. So you really see that it enhances the look of your shot. And you don't need any filters for that. Okay, so I want to show you something else you can do with this layer. So do a layer, new layer, and do the same thing again. So go to mode, soft light, fill with neutral gray. Now let's say I like this shot, but I want a little bit of grain in there. Now grain could be, this, could be described as noise. So let's start by adding a little bit of noise. Now the cool thing about it is, of course, noise I can add also to a duplicate layer. The thing is, after that I can't uh, manipulate the noise anymore. So let's say, here we go, we have some noise on here. Always do this in 100%. Okay. Now, this is of course noise that I don't really like. It doesn't look like film grain. So I want it to look a little bit more like film grain. But how do you do that? Well, I want the noise to be a little bit bigger. Now, if you were on a duplicate layer, you actually can't manipulate the noise anymore because, well, if you manipulate the noise, also the model will be manipulated. But because it's on a separate layer, as you can see here, 
I can now do some funky stuff with this. So for example, let's say I want those dots or those noise uh, particles a little bit bigger. Go to filter and go to blur and go to Gaussian. Gaussian. Now turn it all the way down. And now you have that nice big fat grain that we all love from movies, uh, from film. There we go. So you see the difference? Press OK. And now you can actually turn it on, off, and if you don't like it, just change the opacity to zero and slowly build it up until you see what you got. There we go. Now another cool thing you can do with this layer, <coughs> let's remove this one, is actually use it as a light source. <coughs> so go to soft light, fill, fit on screen. Now let's say we want that light bulb a little bit brighter. Just take your brush and do it with white paint. And now very subtle, you can actually make it blur a little bit more. You see? So it gives you more of a sense of a little bit of lens flare. Now there's another way to do this, and I already showed you that in another video, but that takes a little bit more time, and that's by creating a new layer. And just press OK. Now use your brush, as you can see here, and now you actually have to blur that part. So using that, uh, let's call it again the magic layer, it just works a little bit faster. And the results are, I think, better. So that's the tip for today, the magic layer in Photoshop. If you like what we do, leave comments below, tell other people about our channel, and of course hit that like button, we really like that. Thank you so very much for watching guys, and see you next time.